Salve, salve família, tudo certo? O Happy Box está no ar e hoje, mais do que especial, tem uma entrevista internacional aqui no Happy Box. Antes de mais nada, se você não está inscrito nesse canal, já ativa o sininho aí, clica no seguir, segue a gente também na rede social, arroba leocasão, arroba Happy Box e fique por dentro de todas as novidades aqui do nosso canal. Certo, família? Então, ó, vou chamar aqui ó, o nosso convidado de hoje, internacional diretamente da Jamaica, Proto G. Blessings, blessings. Nice to meet you, man. Welcome to Brazil. Welcome to my studio. Uh, welcome to Rap Box. Yeah. And it's a pleasure to have you here, man. Yeah, pleasure is mine. Ok, man. So, uh, how do you like Brazil so far, man? Good, it's been a good trip so far, I've been chill, you know, been around Sao Paulo a bit. I'm um, getting good food. It's been a good vibe. And I, I did a show two days ago, uh, like a festival, and it was awesome. Yeah, so uh, are you liking the Brazilian food? Yes, so far. Yeah? Yes. yeah. <laughs> We're going to lots of vegetarian places. Okay. They've been all awesome, each better than the next. Yeah, we, we have a lot of different food in Brazil. Brazil is a huge country. Yeah, yeah. And we have a lot of different cultures and food cultures and everything because yeah. it's, a, it's a huge huge place. Mm -hmm. Nice, man. So you are only in Sao Paulo so far? So far, yes. But I'm going to be traveling around to some different spots. Like okay. Doing some vibes, you know. So, uh, how, uh, how about the audience in your concert, the, the, the public, are, are they uh, enjoying the, the music? Yeah, and, they are vibes, uh, you, full uh, of vibes, you know, I know like not, m most people in that show, they never know who I am before, some people, yes, I'm okay. sure, but most, I don't think so, so it's always good to perform to new people and give them new vibes, maybe they go home and check out your music and then rest of the shows now are going to be people who are more familiar with the music who will um, um, accept it you know mm -hmm. differently as well but everything's an experience for me it's all regardless of what what is happening or what situation it is it's always just a new experience for me which I openly accept you know nice nice yeah. very nice man um, changing a, a little bit of the subject uh, I want to I would like to know how did you start in music, man? Uh, how did music uh, come into your life? Yeah, music came into my life from very early and, and just stayed with me. In Jamaica, music is in everybody's life. Everybody tried to be an artist or know somebody that tried to be an artist or a musician or something. People love music in Jamaica. so. That's the first thing. My mom and my my mom was a big reggae singer from the seventies. So Lorna Bennett. So I uh, grew what, what, it's her name? My mom's name is Lorna Bennett. Lorna yes. Bennett. She had like two number one songs when she was nineteen. And um so at least it let me know that music is possible and then started out a sound system with my cousin Don Carleone who also big big reggae producer too. And um Things just started from there. I just worked on my art and craft and came out my first official song 2009 called Arguments and it was a hit song, my first song. Arguments. My so, second uh, song was a hit song, my third, my fourth song. Oh, <laughs> you're a hit maker, man. So, so <laughs> it was very good that very... My, my, my fifth song was Rasta Love, which was... Which I thought the first four were hits, but uh -huh. then when this one now I know what a real Rust, big Ru hit Rasta is. Love is the one with the Kaimani Kaimani Marley. Marley yeah, and I that know. changed my life from from Rasta Love. My that, that's a big been hit. A launch into this career, you know. So 2009, you said. Arguments was 2009. How old were you uh, back then? 27. 27. Yeah. So your mom was a singer and your father was a musician. Your father played music too, also? Yes, my father was a Calypso King um, and um, won that title in St. Vincent, another Caribbean country. So, Calypso is the, the roots of Jamaica, right? 
the before Ska. Well, it before, says not not Jamaica. It's not Jamaica. It's a uh, Caribbean music. Car- yeah, different Trinidad, Saint Vincent, those countries. You know. Okay. It still has presence in Jamaica, yes, but Jamaica is like ska and mentor, reggae music, mentor, roots, yeah. rock steady, them vibes, you know. Yeah. yeah. I always that thought about. Uh, I always studied Jamaica music and the foundation because Jamaica music today is all over the the world. You know, everybody in the world does does uh, Jamaica music. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a big music, <laughs> right? The contribution that Jamaican music made to the world is it's awesome. What do you think about this? The other people in other countries doing reggae music? Yeah, music don't belong to nobody. Music belongs to everybody. So whoever wants to make music, make music, you understand? Like I have no no what you call it, no feelings towards that you know if you want to make music make music and 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 show respect to jamaica for the music you know as that you're making as well okay cool yeah because Bra- brazil has a a very popular rhythm which is samba but samba is not as big as Jamaica music outside of brazil samba is big in yeah, brazil but, but <laughs> brazil don't need brazil have uh, it's 220 million people. Yeah. So if your music is big in Brazil, that's still big. We have three 2.8 million people. Oh. Yeah. You know, only a very small country. So we need to be big in lots of country. But if you are Brazil and you have big music in Brazil, 200 million people. Yeah, it's a lot of people. Music, <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> it's this, this city, São Paulo, has more than 20 million people. Yeah. How about that. <laughs> right, you know, say my country has you know, ten percent of that maybe. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. So it's That's weird. a lot of people here, man. So what are your influences in music besides your your mom singing Jamaican music and your father and everything? Or other influences that it's in your DNA, let's say. Outside of Jamaica or? Yeah, outside of Jamaica, any music that you like, that you... I grew up on hip-hop a lot, oh, lots yeah. of hip-hop music, mm-hmm. you know. I study hip-hop just like I study reggae music, maybe even more at that time in my life, you know. Um, but reggae music, Aini Kamosi, Black Uhuru, Sly and Robbie, that whole, mm-hmm. Blue Mondel, Augustus Pablo, that whole era, King Tubby's 80s, was a lot of... Um, 70s King Tobi is what I mean, 80s music, like early, 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 early um, 80s music from reggae, from um, Jamaica, and then hip hop, you know, like, you know, Tupac and Jay Z and Wu Tang and us mm-hmm. growing up on that stuff. Um, do you know Brazilian music? Um, no, not as much. I'm getting familiar now, like, I'm gonna get some vinyls and um, go home with some vinyls but uh, I've been listening to some stuff today and um, it's it's good music is very rich here and very mm-hmm. uh, like I want to learn more and more about it so I'm gonna investigate yeah we have um, let's say we have the samba and that's the biggest but nowadays samba always was the, the biggest uh, genre in Brazil but we also have the northern music from Brazil. That's the forró, the baião, uh, the coco music. I heard and, some. I heard some northern music last night, night before last. And at the festival, I walked and go and heard it. It was very different, nice. You know, yeah. very. We have a lot. We have so many genres in Brazil. In Bahia, we have the axé music. It's it's pure Africa. It's it's really good music. It's like um, drum music. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of so, and we also have the Brazilian funk that we say it's a it's a big genre from the favelas in Brazil. So you have hip hop. A big hip hop is really big here. The rap music also. So did you learn any word in Portuguese already? No, uh, Portuguese is too hard. <laughs> Obrigado, that's it. <laughs> and um, 
Um, when I was jogging today, I see a tensile pedestres. No? I think some pedestres. Pedestres, yes. Yeah. I guess attention, um, you know, pedestrians. The, so the I, people walking. In right, the so I see, I see a, a tensile pedestres. So those are two more words. I learn from reading or lucine. I'm not very good learning um, by ear. I, you know, mm -hmm. say I don't listen to audio books. I have to read, read the words. So if I read the words, then I can see it. So I can see how it's spelled. So I can say it. So that's how I have to learn a language, not by hearing someone. So I have to read and study it. Yeah, Portuguese is a hard language. Or maybe if I learn <laughs> it, I'm going to watch movies and put on Portuguese subtitles. Maybe I learn stuff like oh, okay. that. Okay. You know? Yeah, that's yeah. a way to learn. And. Uh, being here is, is, is a way to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you ever think about any collabs with Brazilian uh, musicians, Brazilian artists? No, I don't know enough yet. I don't know okay. enough of the music yet. So when I listen more music, I investigate and I see it's always possible. You know, I love to make music. So I keep my eyes and ears open. Cool. Uh, the uh, reggae music, by the way, is really big in Brazil. It's a, it's a lot. There is a lot of artists in in reggae music in Brazil. Yes. We have good Brazilian singers from, I would say, Brazilian Jamaican singers. <laughs> We also have a band called uh, or uh, Brazilian, no, Orquesta Brasileira de Música. Como é que eu vou falar? Orquestra Brasileira de Música Brazilian Jamaicana. Brazilian Orquestra from Jamaica Music. Brazilian Orquestra... Orquestra... Of Jamaica of music. Jamaican music. Brazilian Orquestra of Jamaica Music. It's mm -hmm. a band. Mm -hmm. And they do Brazilian themes, like classic Brazilian songs in Jamaican rhythm. Okay. Like they do uh, classic sambas, uh, ska version, oh, like nice. reggae version. With the nice. orchestra. With the orchestra. Mm -hmm. So it's... It's nice. Awesome. Are you doing a new album right now? My album came out like nine months ago. Mm -hmm. So right now just promoting my last two, three albums, you know? They're like a trilogy, oh. you know? So I'm just, the last one just came out. So just promoting that, obviously working on new music as well. Okay. You, you produce also? Yes, but not as much on my own stuff. Too many great producers around me, so I um did I produce any on my last album? Only one on my last album. Zaya produced three, I attached four, um, and I produce for other people as well. I you know, but focus on being an artist, but still try to get some productions out. Oh, cool. Yeah. What do you use for producing music um, or gear? MPC. Um, then I have lots of synths up the up the habitat. I have a studio called Habitat, so lots of like synths. Just got a min a Moog Mini, a, a, a Mini Moog Model B. Sorry, yeah, yeah. have a Mellotron up there. Oh, nice um, Mellotron. That's lots of stuff, man. Any gadgets and Zaya produces up there too, and he uses like, you know, Electron, Octatrack, all of what I use, you know, lots of live guitars, bass, synths, just stuff like that. Cool. And Ableton to bring it together. Ah, okay. The, the yeah. doll. <laughs> the doll is Ableton. Yeah. Yeah, I like the Pro Tools. Yeah. I, I, we I mostly make beats in Ableton export to Pro Tools and then do overdubs and live stuff in Pro Tools. And mixing in Pro Tools yeah, also, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's a good recorder also. For sure, uh, record yeah. my all my vocal in Pro Tools. Yeah. Nice. Yes. <coughs> so you have the 1073 here and the API and stuff. Yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like that, that piece of gear, man. Yes, it's, it's really Nice good. one. The, the Neve, it's nice, nice preamp. Yeah. Yeah, like this this baby too. This Allen Heat. Nice. Yeah. Good. Love 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 the space. Yeah, thank you, man. Uh you said your last albums your were a uh, tri trilogy? Trilogy. Yeah. Trilogy. Ah, okay. Yeah. No, it's not trilogy. Trilogy. Mm -hmm. So 
talk about this trilogy, man. It, what are, are they talking about? What, what is the sequence of the, the trilogy? The first one was called Amata Time 2018, In Search of Last Time 2020, and Third Time to Charm. I mean, it's all centered around how, how I'm spending my time, things I'm trying to do, trying to slow it down, trying to make up for last time, trying to, you know, it's, it's just, that's the overarching theme. And then obviously just musically, you know, my experiences in Jamaica, in music, in life. And, um, you know, it was good putting those three albums together. The last two I did at my new studio. So those two kind of are even more connected than the first one. And, um, you know, it was two of them got nominated for for Grammy Awards as well. Oh, that was, you know, cool. And the one that didn't get nominated is the biggest one in search of last time so you know not big collabs on there me and popcorn like royalty dancehall reggae anthem and switch it up with coffee as well too it's another oh. big collaboration from that project and um, yeah it's great experience my sixth album and just looking forward to do more bodies of work i like to put projects out and um and focusing on that type of work so that's it and have my label obviously and um Leela IK put out her project, Jazzy Savannah. So putting out lots of music for other artists in Jamaica as oh, well. Cool. What's the name of your label? Indignation Collective. Nice. Indignation. Indig Collective for okay. short. Indig Collection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Collective. But, collective. Yeah, collective. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice, man. Thank you for this conversation yeah. and welcome to Brazil again. And uh, if you like to leave a message for the people in Brazil, the people that likes your music. Uh. Well, just give thanks for the support. Keep sharing it. Keep telling people about music. You know, reggae music is music of message and and upliftment. So lots of time it won't get the push globally. So you have to be, you know, if you want this type of music to spread, to reach more people and just keep spreading it. And thanks for the love and hope to see you all soon. All right, thank you very much, né? Bless. Bless. É isso, rapaziada. Muito obrigado pela audiência. Espero que você tenha curtido essa entrevista maravilhosa com o Proto G. Não, não se esqueça de se inscrever no canal. Deixa seu like, me segue também na rede social, arroba leocasa1. E nos vemos na próxima entrevista, certo? Deixa aqui, ó, escrito aqui no comentário quem você gostaria que viesse aqui trocar uma ideia comigo. Demorou? Tamo junto, até a próxima.